With over 300 sessions at Next 2018, it's understandable you couldn't get to them all. So if you didn't see Leverage AI on the cloud to transform your business, then stay tuned, because here's the rewind. Machine learning is an algorithmic approach to making repeated decisions with data. So check that you have all those components before you begin. Data to learn from, check. Access to machine learning algorithms, check. Desire to automate repeated decisions? And we're really talking repetition here, not 10 decisions, but more like 10,000 or 10 billion. Check. Great, let's dive in and summarize the four big ideas from the talk. First, ML can be used to solve many problems for which you're writing rules today. In fact, a great way to find opportunities to apply it is to look for rules in your business. For example, query completion in Google Search used to be a real tangle of handcrafted rules. Applying machine learning to it brought our biggest boost in ranking quality in over two years. Secondly, machine learning is how you personalize your applications. Because ML scales better than those handcrafted rules, and it lets you layer models on top of your existing logic, you can now also delight folks who are unlike your main user contingent. Now, of course, what makes all this tick is data. You can think of ML as turning that rules-based process on its head. Instead of starting with the model or rules, flip it to start with your data. Thirdly, design systems with the expectation that you will have more, more, more data next year. Your world isn't static, and you should expect that your data will grow. And this is a great thing, because more data wins. But what happens when this puts you in the realm of exabytes or petabytes? For example, deep learning only works well with large data sets. To drop your error rate linearly, you're going to have to increase your data exponentially. That's a log scale over there. Like predictions, if you're into deep learning, I predict lots of data in your future. So here's a suggestion. Don't spend all your personnel time on big data infrastructure. Instead, take a serverless approach so you can put your effort into what actually brings you the most value. Think in terms of code, not infrastructure, which brings us to our fourth idea. Use a platform that lets you forget about infrastructure and offers great pre-built models. Look for flexibility for different ML scenarios. So let's revisit deep learning. The compute power needed to do state-of-the-art machine learning went up 10 million times in the last six years. 10 million times. Whoa. If you want to be on the cutting edge, you're going to need an efficient, cost-effective ML environment. To handle more and more data, you're going to need to go distributed. To handle more and more compute, you're going to need better hardware. Google Cloud brings you the ideal environment for distributed processing on hardware tailored to your needs. It gives you a fantastic, fully managed, serverless way to run ML with great pre-built models, so you don't need to build everything from scratch if you don't want to. I mean, why reinvent wheels you don't have to reinvent, right? In summarizing this talk for you, I left out the colorful use cases that really bring those ideas to life. Meet machine learning for movie recommender systems, fraud detection, customer service, the internet of things, car auctions, gaming, and more. If you'd like to see the full talk, check out the link in the description below, and don't forget to subscribe to the Cloud YouTube channel for more great Next Rewind content. Thanks for watching. <laughs>